My name's Guy Kestivan and I've been a professional bike tester for nearly 25 years and today the bike I'm live ride reviewing is the brand new Titus Fireline Titanium 29er Trail Hardtail. So let's get the admin out of the way straight away. Let's get the admin done straight away. The material is titanium, 3AL 2.5 alloy to be precise, standard titanium alloy used for mountain bikes and aerospace, whole load of other premium applications. But you've got a multi butted tube set, so different thicknesses in different places, and you've got loads of shaping, quite subtle shaping, luckily top tube, down tube, chain stays, seat stays all curved and tapered and nicely shaped with some really sweet keystone CNC machine pieces in there as well particularly around the chain stays, dropouts and a really nice engraved head tube and production bikes will have laser etched graphics as well now titanium obviously big advantages doesn't need painting really hard to scratch it's a super strong material for its weight you know a lot lighter than steel morning oh, thank you very much thank you a lot lighter than steel for the same weight and stronger than alloy at the same weight so you know, it really is the premium metal for making bikes out of it's not, I mean, complete bikes aren't as light as they used to be because people used to take them right to the edge of what they could handle and beyond often a lot of Thai bikes used to tear apart so they tend to be made a lot stronger now and so this is 14 kilos complete bike with SX spec so you know, it is a budget shit out on this bike but still a reasonable weight and what really separates Thai bikes out is this beautiful ride feel you know, down these stutter bumps even when it's sketchy, it's been raining overnight and it's rooty. It just feels super fluid down there. And I'm certainly not worrying about dropping into this slippery, steppy section, which can be proper treacherous and a real jackhammer on this forgiving hardtail. There you go, I'll run it out. And then across those rock bits. Man, it's dark in here this morning. Probably a bit too dark to see the detail there, but really flowed through there beautifully. And that's exactly what you're looking for when you're paying, you know, because you are paying over the money for steel and alloy, but you're getting that really beautiful, well, on the right frame, you're getting that really beautiful, distinctively sprung ride feel. And with these Conti 2.4 tyres in there as well, there is no shortage of that. And while it's not, you know, in this spec, not massively advantageous in terms of weight gain in terms of low weight still 14 kilos for this complete bike now the way it picks up speed and hustles and hurries and then holds that speed through rougher rooty rocky sections I mean, this is not the first time I've ridden this bike put several rides into this bike just because it's really really enjoyable to ride and the versatility of that lively frame is really kind of amped up by the geometry. I mean, there's just no specific agenda to it, really. Head angle is 65 degrees. Seat angle, 74 on this large. Reach is 460 mil, so it could go a bit longer. You know, the, the medium is definitely short, 437. But it just centers you really nicely on the bike. And there's enough stability in the front for speed but then it's tight enough for little greasy slow speed sections like that but while you know it enjoys smooth flowing single track as much as any hardtail does it's when you start jabbing into rocky slab sections like this that that titanium spring that knee and wrist saving kind of float really comes to life it makes you go, do you know what? Scandal's a lovely bike, but I'm glad I treated myself to something properly special. And not just from that durability, corrosion proofing strength point of view. There is a real 
joy and fluidity, just the way it pops up and down sections like that. And yeah, it's got a generous tyre on it, but still, just, oh, I'm actually really enjoying this relatively compact geometry for just nipping and tucking around here. And obviously if you want big, long and slack, get the Locomoto Titus, which uses the same crazy geometry as on one's Hello Dave, so 62 degree head angle, 490 mil reach on the large, but for whipping and skipping through the woods on a damp morning, this is a proper live wire, this fire line. And it's coming in at 14 kilos, even with a decidedly entry level spec. I mean, you know, you've got all the bits you need. If this is how they do bring out the production bike, it's kind of based on the big dog summer special they've just done. Now 35 is a very solid fork, 130 mil. Oh, that way it just flicked and landed that. That's why you buy titanium. <laughs> Sorry, cutting in there, but yeah, 35, good solid fork. Here's Alex wheels. Oh, it drops beautifully. <laughs> There's those little flowing pumping sections there. Alex rims, 30 mil. Conti, 2.4 inch tyres. 780 mil bar, 45 mil stem. SRAM SX Eagle. It's all decent stuff. And of course, because you're getting it from Planet X, your bike will be built to order. So, while they'll offer different spec levels, Normally at a crazy price. You've also got a chance to change contact points or tires, bits like that. So, oh, I'll just buy a frame. Because the frames are normally exceptional value. Especially if you get on their newsletter and uh, hang about for some offers. Because it's fair to say, Planet X and therefore Titus pricing is a variable thing. You know, it varies from very good value to ridiculous value, depending generally on what mood Dave's in when he's walking the dog in the morning. But to shoehorn a link back to the biking, that kind of variable multiple riding situations and versatility is where this bike really shines. I just love chopping and chasing around on it. It's awesome for that. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, proper little flow, fun bike with the stability, you know, to go cracking out big mountain descents. And while this bike comes up heavier than you might expect for titanium at 14 kilos, obviously, you could easily whip a kilo or more out of it, even if you didn't go crazy like with the build up. You know, there's loads of weight you can pull out of this spec and create a proper firecracker out your fire line. But even as it is, just charging up sections like this, just the way it carries speed over those little rooty sections, rocky sections, and then up little irregular sections like this, or anywhere, you know, you need to just grab a bit of height to drive over the top. It's really keen to flex those muscles in that titanium tube set. And also, the way there's a subtle ductility means there's just tons of grip. Even when I'm trying to climb with a bunch of broken ribs, like I am at the moment. Ouch. You know, it's got that real grip and engagement just through the tube set. And then, when you are up the top, you've just got this beautifully lively frame set with angles that really brighten it up you know let it skip around at the back a bit but keep that front tyre really well pinned and a big volume tyre spec and back tyre space and while we could pay say less for the same spec on alloy or steel by going with big dog or with scandal and get the same geometry wait a nice bit of precision a line choice there oh did I say yeah, really nice and tight in terms of tracking, but without ever being no more brutal. You know, it hasn't beaten me up through my feet like I'd expect on an alloy bike, but it's much more nimble 
and responsive than a steel bike because it's lighter so you know if you're asking whether it's worth investing in time absolutely when it's a frame like this well, this as a do it all all rounder is just a really well balanced really lively and enjoyable it's basically a great advert for titanium and a great advert for hardtails as well huge amounts of fun on local trails or big days out in the big hills so there you go tight as fire line premium titanium build quality and ride quality at a remarkably affordable and accessible price point and while we're here, I'm just going to point out some of the detailing, which obviously you won't be able to see when you're riding. I mean, there is a full tech talk round, which goes into uh, more detail in a static situation. But as you can see, you've got these really nice cutaway machine pieces here behind the chain set to uh, give more mud clearance and clearance for up for a 42 tooth chain ring. Really sweetly detailed dropout ends there. Uh, you know, fully CNC machine. You've got these curved rear stays. Nice overshot seat stays there. Tons of tire room, even with these 2.4s. Curved, multi-butted tube set. And then coming up and over the front here, you've got this really nicely machined Titus head badge. So proper premium quality on this bike. And just to reiterate, these aren't the uh, production graphics. Uh, it'll have fully laser etched and machined uh, Titus logos on the main tubes as well. So that's the live ride review done on my local test single track. Uh, here in Yorkshire, you know, where the bike's designed in Yorkshire, it's built in the Far East, but it's built for exactly these kind of British woodsy single track conditions, where a live, muscular, kind of agile and responsive bike totally thrives. And, you know, 29 wheels as well to add that extra rolling speed. It is really, really well suited to this kind of riding. So thanks very much for Planet X for sending me uh, this pre-production sample early to get a... Uh, head start on the testing with uh, thanks to them for supporting this video as well uh, thanks to my patreon supporters who uh, donate a small monthly pledge to uh, the channel on patreon uh, there's a click box at the end of the video so you can do that if you like what i'm doing in return they get extended early behind the scenes edits and they get a sort of higher tier of buying and tech advice based on all my bike testing experience so massive thanks to those guys like i say if you like what i'm doing with the channel please consider joining them on patreon as a subscriber but for now i've been guy kesteven on guy kes tv ripping up the riverside single track on the titus fireline titanium 29er trail hardtail <laughs>